Welcome to the Sparks webinar entitled Delivering an Agile Enterprise. A modern airport has been used to illustrate how Enterprise Architect can help improve collaboration, strategic management, capability modeling, traceability, and achieve enterprise agility. The airport strategic model shown on screen outlines a number of examples, such as how the executive team can deliver on strategic outcomes for improved stakeholder value. We've also modelled the airport ecosystem, showing the relationships between key stakeholders and organisations. We can also establish reviews to discuss strategy and how to implement ideas. We've used a BizBoc diagram to build an airport capability model. We also have a heat map to visually identify any capabilities that will have a significant impact on operations. We use a simple legend to bind the colour to the tagged value called criticality. Finally, we can undertake gap analysis using a relationship matrix, and we can implement Kanban diagrams for producing a backlog. Enterprise Architect can deliver on enterprise agility by modelling strategic outcomes that outline what motivates the business. The airport model shown on screen outlines how the executive team can deliver strategic outcomes for improved stakeholder value. The strategy at rest approach is broken up into sections where we analyse, define and assess the strategy. The strategy in motion consists of plan, implement and operate. The value stream diagram shows the entry and exit criteria for each stage. You can see that ideas, policies, initiatives, strategy, feedback and market analysis all feed into the analyse process, which in turn produces an as-is capability and value map and a SWOT analysis for identifying an organisation's strengths and weaknesses. User story. User stories are often associated with a number of agile approaches to software development consisting of a simple statement describing what the user does to achieve a goal and why the goal is important to them. For example, on screen we have a user story that reads, As an airport security guard, I want to be able to recognise faces using airport security cameras to identify terrorists from known watch lists and improve airport security. While the goal of improved security is clear, we can easily add glossary terms to remove any ambiguity. So we can define airport and security cameras and break down each definition into a separate category. We can further refine this user story by linking to other model elements as shown on screen. We can then use the traceability window to see how this user story impacts the broader enterprise, which is often lost when sprints are run independently of the broader enterprise. We can see that the biometric requirement has a, an association to gateboarding security which in turn is owned by the CEO. We can look at the strategy to improve safety and drill down to see how this is implemented within the airport by the Airport Terminal Digital Transformation or ATDT for short. The user story itself is found as a common artifact in the toolbox and usually takes the appearance of a few simple sentences where as a user, you want a feature that provides some value. Once the user story is complete, it can be linked to requirements, strategy for safety at the airport, use cases, and other model elements to provide greater context and a detailed explanation of enterprise value, which is another attribute of an agile enterprise. Kanban diagrams are a popular framework for implementing agile software development. The brain can process visual information 60,000 times faster than text, so using Kanban diagrams to categorise information can allow teams to be far more agile. The example on screen shows a number of assessments that have a tagged value called rating that is assigned to high, medium and low. The tagged value is used to place each element in the corresponding column. 
When you make a change to the tag value, changes are reflected when you save or refresh the diagram. Use the Find Kanban Diagrams option to quickly search Enterprise Architect for the diagram that you need. This search helps you rapidly switch between different sprints and quickly determine how projects are progressing. The second example shown on screen categorizes each idea based on an attribute called category. This allows an executive to identify any ideas that are potentially disruptive at a glance. Enterprise Architect can bind a status or attribute to a given lane in a Kanban diagram, which in this case is the tagged value called category. You can also easily alter the appearance of Kanban lanes to help information stand out and to communicate important facts. Kanban diagrams and requirements. I shall now step through the process of building a Kanban diagram in Enterprise Architect based on project requirements. Our airport model has a number of security requirements, and many of these have a status that has been set to approved. To begin, add a new diagram, select a Kanban diagram, and choose the appropriate diagram type such as backlog or iteration. Your selection will determine the appropriate column headings, but these can easily be changed at any time by altering the binding as shown on screen. I'm going to change the colour of the approved column so that it stands out a little more. I need to import all of the approved requirements into my Kanban diagram for further processing. I can do this by using the custom SQL option within the advanced tab. If I take a look at the code, we're searching for all requirements where T object status is equal to approved. When I run the query, it returns eight results. All the approved requirements now appear in our Kanban diagram. Charts and dashboards. The charts shown on screen are built with Enterprise Architect and can provide insights into sprint progression, resource utilization, and can help stakeholders better understand project milestone progression. The top chart outlines various project issues that are currently under investigation, while the bottom chart outlines the progress of change elements, indicating how many changes have been implemented over time. Charts are very easy to build in Enterprise Architect and can allow you to construct dashboards for agile decision making. Placing a time series chart onto a diagram, you can build a sample burn down chart with ease. Add some pre-written SQL statements that can report on the total number of requirements in the project. You can test the query before building your chart to ensure that the syntax is correct. The instant reporting is ideal for managing project milestones like completed requirements. The project owner then makes a few changes to the model and assigns resources to implement some of the new requirements. For example, a new requirement looking at airport gate security is created. Various resources are assigned to complete the project on schedule. Now we want to look at a chart to see the impact of this resource allocation. Now please note that results can be manually recorded or you can run them at regular intervals via a script. Looking at the results, we can see how they change over time. We can also create more complex charts that describe the number of elements found in a Kanban swim lane. Looking at the code, we can see that it reports on any status value equal to rejected. It obtains the results from the Kanban diagram shown on screen. This code can be easily adapted to create a burn down chart that reports on tasks in a backlog showing how they reduce over time. So charts in Enterprise Architect can be used for resource management, displaying burn down charts, creating a dashboard for sprints, and using custom SQL to keep stakeholders informed, helping the enterprise respond in an agile manner. Manage baselines. It is always important for an agile enterprise to be able to understand change management practices and highlight the impact that change may have on strategy, project deadlines, implementation and deployment. 
Let's take a look at our strategy for an employable travel experience and use the baseline feature in Enterprise Architect to observe any changes to our model. Begin by selecting a package and creating a new baseline. We can then make changes to the model such as renaming elements or adding new stakeholders altogether. It's important to note that in a commercial project, multiple stakeholders may have access to the model and it's important to know who makes the change and the impact that may have on the overall success of a given project. This depth of understanding around change management in conjunction with using the traceability window provide an agile enterprise with greater control over change management and impact analysis. Once we've completed these changes, we can open the baseline dialog once again. If we use the Show Differences button, we can see how the model has changed since a baseline was established. You can see that the changes between the model and baseline are highlighted to make it easy to see what has changed, who made the change, and when the change was made to the model. The ProCloud server and WebEA allow everyone in your organisation to collaborate via a mobile device, web browser or tablet. On screen I'm using WebEA to view our airport model. This collaborative tool allows stakeholders to engage with content from any remote location with internet access. Looking at the strategy, I might want more information about the executive team, so I use the collaborative discussion features to discuss who are the members of the executive team. These discussions are then saved in the model repository and recorded against that user. This ensures that project discussions are saved in the model and never lost, allowing for better collaboration and traceability. Collaboration and good communication are the cornerstone of any successful Agile enterprise. Switching back to Enterprise Architect, the team can respond to any queries and build a new diagram that outlines members of the executive team. You can link model elements and use collaborative tools like Model Mail and Team Reviews to help keep everyone informed. You can see our new organisational chart can contain rich profile information about staff, which in turn can be linked to project roles, responsibility and strategy implementation. You can even use the chat feature to inform all administrators that the org chart has been completed. Users can be assigned roles and any model element can be assigned resources to undertake project management tasks, including Gantt charts. We can assign a priority and status to any discussion item so we can easily identify relevant project discussions and see what needs immediate attention. Spark Systems has a comprehensive set of reverse engineering capabilities that can analyse and document legacy code to build a better understanding of how a system works. On screen we have some legacy code written in PHP. Use the Code tab in Enterprise Architect to import the legacy code. By having a better understanding of how a system works, this in turn helps stakeholders to understand the impact that legacy code might have on strategy. The airport dev team has some legacy code that can search a database for the names of other airports around the world, which in turn can be used on travel displays around the airport. The dev team has been made responsible for integrating this software with new display systems. However, the legacy code suffers from inadequate documentation and key staff that wrote the code are no longer employed by the airport. In this common scenario, Enterprise Architect can assist to maintain agility by creating class diagrams, by being able to build sequence diagrams, and then linking the existing classes to strategy, model elements, discussions, and documentation. All of this allows an organization to maintain agility and have a better understanding of what the system is doing. So you can now see that in a very short period of time we've been able to import PHP code into Enterprise Architect, build a class diagram, build a sequence diagram that shows the exchange of messages, and we've been able to view the code and link it to other elements within Enterprise Architect. 
I would like to conclude this presentation with a brief summary of some of the topics we've covered in our webinar entitled Delivering an Agile Enterprise. We looked at two key tools for delivering an Agile Enterprise, WebEA and Enterprise Architect. A BizBoc model was used to represent our airport strategy. A security camera example was used to build a user story that was linked to requirements and other model elements, including strategy. A Kanban diagram was used to manage requirements, backlogs, and show the progress through each sprint, which could be used in various Agile methodologies. Charts and dashboards were used to show the status of requirements and the creation of a burndown chart. We also imported a number of high priority requirements via pre written SQL code. Baselines were produced to manage change across the enterprise. We also looked at WebEA and a variety of collaboration tools, including chat, discussions, and model mail. Enterprise Architect can also reverse engineer code to automatically build an as is representation of a legacy code base and then document legacy systems. Our strategy was built and described using BizBoc and Enterprise Architecture. 